let's learn about the evolution from the formula for the area of a circle all the way to the formula for the volume of a sphere. Start with a circle. Area equals pi r squared. Simple enough. You need to know that one by heart. Now, if we stretch it, we'll have a cylinder. So we brought in height. Now, the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times height. Now, if you have a cylinder or a prism and you bring a, the one end to a point, you're going to have a third of the volume. As can be demonstrated by this cube that I have made to break apart into three equal pyramids. So that gives us one third. So for the cone, we're now at volume equals one third pi r squared times height. Now if we take that cone and we make its height the same as its radius, it will take four of those to equal the volume of a sphere. I like to imagine the sphere as being a, a popcorn kernel that explodes outward into four equal sized cones. And so we have, instead of one third for the cone, we have four thirds because there's four cones. Four thirds pi r squared. And uh, instead of r squared, remember the height became the radius, became the same as the radius, so that's pi r cubed. So for a sphere, four thirds pi r cubed. Now, if you want to learn this really well, you're going to need to repeat. And uh, I've got this chant to help you memorize these formulas for volume. We're going to start with the area of a circle. So, uh, first, first step, I want you to imagine that you're holding a circle in your hand and do this along with me. I'm holding a circle. Area equals pi r squared. Stretch the circle. Give it height. I'm holding a cylinder. Volume equals pi r squared times height. Bring a 3D shape to a point. Ding! I'm holding a cone. Volume equals one-third pi r squared times height. Four cones now. Height equals radius. Smash them together. Squish, squish, squish. I'm holding a sphere. Volume equals four-thirds pi r cubed. Take that. Practice it, say it along with me as many times as you need to, several times a day, and you'll know these by heart. 